Natalie Zahir, she's a Syrian immigrant, but she's called Jacksonville home for almost 20 years. But what pains her is knowing her friends and family are recovering from the quake. Zahir hopes that her second home will provide humanitarian aid. Buildings and homes collapsed from the quake, leaving thousands injured and hundreds dead. Well, it was traumatizing, to say the least. While crews are searching for survivors under the rubble, Natalie Zahir watches her home country experience a new devastation. It's been over a decade now of war, tragedies, cold winters, uh, minimal fuel. Fortunately, her family is safe. But there was many loved ones of my friends that have passed, that have been affected by it. While neighboring countries are committed to assisting Syria recover, President Biden says U.S. supported humanitarian partners are responding. To the UNF grad, the U.S. can do more. She says sanctions against Syria hinder people who want to help. The more restricted the country is, the less necessities, the less human necessities that they have. However, the U.S. State Department's spokesperson said it would be, quote, ironic if not even counterproductive for us to reach out to a government that has brutalized its people over the course of a dozen years now. Still, Zahir is calling on anybody to do something. She wants to care for her home away from home. Um, I think the one thing we, we can't do is lift the sanctions, but we can have it heard. So I brought Zahir's concerns to Senator Marco Rubio's office, and I specifically ask if Senator Rubio will push legislators to lift sanctions against Syria, and if so, would it be a temporary lift? I'm expecting a response soon. In the studio, I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.